Hola y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly if you're new here. Hola, if you're returning, welcome back. So it is Sunday and I'm actually editing this vlog right now for today that was supposed to be posted almost three hours ago. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm editing this because I'm supposed to be going to family dinner soon. Uh, my vlog really wasn't that long from last week because I haven't done much and I haven't been on the camera. So this week we're focusing on picking up this camera. Good morning y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly. If you know Hola. I just got here in Orlando. I am going to Columbia today. And um, like I said, I just got to Florida. I have to now go to Medellin from here but my flight is already delayed so I came to the quietest part of the airport to relax and have breakfast. I got chicken empanadas, beef empanadas, and a guava and cheese pastry. That's my little dessert for later but for now I want to literally just sit here watch these planes and relax until it's time for me to um head over to my gate because it's very loud and very busy where I gotta go and it's so quiet and not busy here so I'm gonna stay over this way So I have finally made it to Medellin, y'all. It was a trip. Travel days never cease to be the worst for me. Like, I always have a hard time. And I don't know if this is God's way of telling me to stop and sit my butt down or his way of teaching me patience, learning to be okay, and just going for the ride. Because my anxiety is through the roof. Everything was crazy. I just got here. I'm gonna do a room tour in just a second, but um, I'm just gonna tell you about this little thing. So, from Detroit to Orlando was actually easy. They gave me a big front seat. I slept the entire time. I literally, as soon as we took off, closed my eyes, woke up. We were touching the ground in Orlando. Um, then our flight from Orlando to Medellin was ca not canceled. It was delayed. It was supposed to leave at 10:10. Then it got pushed back to 11:36. Then it got pushed back to 12:02. Um, turns out that flight was also coming from Detroit. So I could actually got on that plane from Detroit, slept in because it was delayed, and then, you know, been up properly on the Medellin flight. But that happened, right? I sit in the airport, I get breakfast, I end up getting some empanadas and some coffee, and I'm just hanging out. Um, when it's time to board the flight, I go over to the man and I'm like, hey, um, or I go to the front desk first. They're boarding, but it's already delayed, so... I know that I'm last. I screenshot the uh, customs form so I can fill it out. It's in complete Spanish and um, the link was broken. So like I am like, oh man, do you have, do you know the paper for the link for it to be in English? The man stressed because the flight is delayed so I get it. But he was like, oh, you don't have it filled out? You can't get on this flight then. You can't get on the flight if it's not filled out. And I'm like, I'm trying to fill it out right now. There is more than enough of people in line, plus they were doing the passport checks as you go through um, to board the plane. So I'm like, I have time. I'm just asking if you have the English form. And he's like, I can't help with that, I'm too busy. And it's two people boarding a flight. He was busy, he was helping other people, I get it. I asked the captain, 
because I was, thought the captain was non revving So I'm like, oh, are you non revving on this flight? He was like, oh, I'm not non revving but I'm going. I'm like, are you working it? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, never mind. But then he decided to help me, and I'm like, I can't get this form to work. I'm trying to get the customs form to, uh, filled out. But he's telling me I can't get on the plane if it's not filled out. I already have a seat and everything, y'all. So I'm, like, stressed. At this point, my anxiety is starting to, like, climb. Um, the captain is American. He doesn't speak any Spanish. We got the, like, we got to the link, but it was all in Spanish. I couldn't understand it. He asked another guy who was supposed to be working a Cancun flight, which is also now delayed because it's waiting on the Medellin flight to get out of their gate to come in the plane and then, you know, whatever. So he asked a, a regular, uh, another flight attendant and the flight attendant came to help me, which I thought was so sweet of the captain to do. He's like, if I can't help, I'm going to get you help. And I love that. Like, I love that from him. But um, as we're doing this, we're doing it on my phone first because I was trying to screenshot the little thing and just do the work. And then the guy is, like, trying to fill out the information, but the computer is going so or the phone is going so slow that it's not loading the drop box that we need. So we're just typing stuff in, think we're supposed to type it in. Every time we press enter, it goes back to something that we already filled out. And I'm like, what is happening? So then we go press the part that we already filled out and then the drop box opens up and i'm like oh these are drop box things but they're taking so long we had to literally do that four times um by this time the door is about to close i switch over to my laptop and i'm trying to do it because i'm thinking my laptop's going to be quicker which it was um then the gate agent comes like we're closing the door she's not making it the captain's still out there with me like he's out there helping me figure out how to get this done and he's like, I, there's nothing I can do. The gate is saying there's nothing I can do. I'm like, can I just fill the form out on the plane? And the guy, with, the gate agent said no at first. And then he looked at the captain. The captain was like, she can fill it out on the plane. So he let me come on the plane. At this point, everybody's boarded because they were about to close the door. Um, I have a big bag. It's a, let me show you. It's not a gigantic bag, but it's definitely bigger than a carry-on size. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's bigger than carry-on. Um, usually, like the, all the flights that I've done this trip, they let me just put it in overhead bin sideways. This one's a little different because literally everybody's backpack and overhead bin. Everybody's book bag. Like, it just filled up space. And the overhead bin space is for checked or carry-on luggage, like bigger suitcases and stuff like that. Backpacks are supposed to go under the seat. So I get on the plane and then the lead is like, we have nowhere for that bag to go. I'm like, oh, what is happening to me right now? And I'm still, I still have my laptop open on top of my bag because I'm trying to fill out the customs forms. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm like, okay, well, we can just gate check it out, get it, you know, when we get to wherever we are. The gate is come down. The door's already closed. We can't gate check any bags. I'm like, oh my goodness so i'm like all right then what am i supposed to do so they go try to like make space they have people like move bags over and put bags under the seat and stuff like that um and as i'm going to put my bag the captain was like just come put it in the front he the captain y'all that captain i i wish i got his name or something i was supposed to say thank you so much to him as i was leaving out i completely forgot he truly looked out for me and i wish that i could like be there to like really be like thank you so much because I was not going to make that flight if it wasn't because of him. They were truly going to leave me in Orlando and just be like, whatever it is, what it is. If it wasn't because of him and I feel so bad, I'm going to find a way to look him up. And I'm going to find him. Because I have to. <sighs> but yeah, besides that, I got onto the plane. I'm in Exero. Nobody's next to me. I'm chilling, having a great old flight, getting there. It was just the chaos of being in Orlando that just uh stress but now i'm in my hotel i'm gonna give y'all a room tour and then i'm gonna um shower and get changed i'm gonna go to dinner and then it's like a couple of bars that's around me that look like live i can hear the music um i'll do a review of this room when i leave it but um before like until then it just is what it is i'll show you how to tour but i think i like it here this is much smaller than it was advertised on the website, or I probably was the square footage is advertised right. The pictures made it look huge, but it is what it is. I'm getting dressed. I'm about to get y'all into this room tour, and then I'll see y'all when I'm changed.
Good morning, y'all. The sun has finally decided to poke its head over the mountain. So it's so bright in my room. I'm trying to find somewhere shaded. There we go. It is my first full day here in Medellin. And I'm so excited. I have something very, very excited planned for today. I cannot wait. Um, I'm about to go down for breakfast, though, because it's included, first of all. Um, and I'm going to try it out. I took some pictures this morning because it was literally just so beautiful outside. I've been up since like 5 a.m. So I'm like, why not just get content in while I can? Y'all, it is just beautiful here. Like, it really is beautiful. I don't know. I just get so excited exploring new places, seeing new things. And I'm just ready to see what today has to bring me. I am pretty hungry, so I'm going to make my way down to breakfast. I think I'm gonna glue my wig down first because we have to be secure for the day. This is my OOTD for today. This shirt is from Shein. Um, so is this top here. Leggings are from Fabletics and I'm gonna be wearing Air Force Ones. This is the only full body mirror they have and the sun is not letting me be great, but this is what we're looking like today. I feel cute. This meal surprised me so much because it's so delicious. They scrambled the eggs really light um, and they didn't season them, so it literally tastes like eggs. But there are black beans up under everything on the toast. And y'all, when I tell you the salt from the black bean, because they seasoned the beans, made it literally delicious black beans corn salsa um feta cheese chorizo and eggs mm. Mm. and avocado they started off with that one it's so good mm, so good And I feel like you gotta eat it all in one bite or else you just don't taste how delicious it is. Which is a toast, it's like an avocado toast, but with all this stuff on it. So it's meant to be one bite. It's so good.
So I'm just getting back to the room. Actually, I'm lying. I've been back in here for almost an hour. And I'm tired, y'all, but I'm hungry. I had breakfast this morning and that was it. So I'm about to go find a little taco shop to eat at and get some drinks. Um, Cause yeah, your girl is hungry, very hungry. Um, but I'm also very tired. I don't have anything else planned today. But it's Tuesday and every video I've seen in TikTok for Tuesday say to go to Gringo Tuesdays, um, which is like a culture sharing event. You go in, you get like a name tag about what language you speak and you go to learn other languages. So I know Spanish, but very, very little. Um, but there, the videos I've seen, there's been people speaking French. There's been people from Africa, which I think speak French too, from Brazil, you know, people from here and then people from America. So I'm kind of excited to do that. Um, I have to get some liquid courage in me because I don't talk to strangers almost ever. And it was so funny because the girl that shared the shuttle with me when I went to do my sky, not skydiving, that when I went to do the paragliding, we didn't talk for 45 minutes, y'all. Well, we didn't talk for 30 minutes. The shuttle ride was 45 minutes long. We didn't talk for 30 minutes um, because I was in my mind like, what do you say to her? I don't know if she was thinking the same thing or she just didn't care to talk anyways. But when we started the conversation, we literally didn't stop talking, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just very socially awkward. I have high anxiety that gives me kind of... I have a burp stuck in my chest, I'm sorry. There we go. I have high anxiety that gives me stress. So when I overthink things, I get even more stressed. So like in the car, I'm like, she said good morning, I say good morning. And I'm like, oh, we could talk now. Like I can have a conversation because I know she speaks English. Then we didn't say anything. Then I'm like, how do I start this conversation? Do I say hi? Do I say, what's your name? Do I say where you're from? Um, are you traveling alone? I'm like, I don't want to ask those questions because those are usually questions that people ask that are about to kidnap somebody. Are you here by yourself? Um, where are you from? Where do you live? You're not from here. Clearly, like that makes that's what's going on in my mind. So I'm like, if I say those questions, I'm sure she's going to think those questions. So I didn't say any of those. Like, y'all, I was stressed and literally like, I don't know what to say. Like, I just don't know what to say to this woman. And I finally choked out. Uh, have you done this before? And then we just kind of went on from there. She was very nice, very sweet, very cool. Um, really inspiration. No, she inspired me is what I'm trying to say. She's a pretty cool woman. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, I did it. And I didn't have any kind of drink of me. And I talked to a person without any problems. So, I want to try that tonight and talk to a lot of different people and see if somebody can teach me some phrases and things like that to say here because I understand little things and then I use context clues for the rest um but I would love to actually understand somebody and be able to hold a conversation with them so we'll see but I'm about to go to tacos el tigre or taco la tigre I think it's el tigre because that's I don't know I don't know what the name of it is but it's a taco place and I'm about to get taco wasted because I'm probably gonna order too much and that's okay because literally i'm not i mean i'm spending money but it's crazy how far my dollar goes here like in the place where we did the paragliding i got two waters and a donut for um like eleven thousand uh colombian dollars um but it was only like three dollars here and I had to do that because they have a minimum for credit cards of uh, spending at least 10,000 um, Colombian dollars. So, yeah. But I'm about to go get the food. This is my last night in this hotel, and then I go to my other hotel, which is not too far away. I'm trying to decide if I want to walk because it's literally like 900 feet away, like not not that far. Or if I want to catch an Uber, and I'm wondering if Ubers will even take me from here to down the street. I don't know. We'll see, but the other room is supposed to be cool. I thought this one had the rooftop pool, but it's actually the next one. So I can't wait because I got in today and I'm actually very tired. And I'm like, this is the perfect lay in the sun on the roof, getting a water kind of day. And 
the rooftop pool is on the next hotel which is also supposed to rain tomorrow so i guess we'll see um but yeah i'll see you at the taco place